there was a post I saw this girl had shared <clears throat> on TikTok. And it just made me think. And I've been thinking about this for a minute. Like, what is influence? Like, because we talk about, you know, you see social media influencers and yeah, yeah, yeah. followings and things. But how do we really measure influence? <laughs> What does that look like from a Christian, and I would say even from a biblical standpoint? Like, what is influence? What like is what influence is in that perf- in that perspective? Because, like, I think that we have. I don't even think we have a, the right understanding of what influence is, because mm-hmm. a lot of times when people attribute influence, it's like, oh, well, I have the mic, I can talk, I have I success, have, I, have success I, have I have following, I have power, mm-hmm. you know, and control, authority, and yeah, but that's not influence. So, what is influence then? To me, <laughs> great point. I think influence is not measured based on success. Mm-hmm. I think influence is measured on the impact you make in someone's life. Mm. And the reason why I say that is because we're in this social media frenzy world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants influence. It's like mm-hmm. we crave influence more than we crave wisdom. Mm. And I feel like in order to have influence, you got to be wise. Yeah. And you have to know exactly what you're about. Yeah. And the reason why I say that is because if you're not wise and you only choose influence, then you're choosing fame. Mm-hmm. And that's it. You just want the benefits that come from influence. You don't want <laughs> to see true change in people's lives. No. And I think that we're in a, in a culture that feasts on fame and famine mm-hmm. <laughs> instead of really just really caring about people. <laughs> caring of you all the time. <laughs> about caring about, we go a deep, we, we got to wrap it up. But, but just truly caring about, you know, mm. people's souls at the end of the day. Yeah. Like, even if like, even if you're not saved and whatnot, like to have influence, I think about like, you know, people that have a huge impact in children's lives. Like, if you ever heard, like, for an example, like, with LeBron James, you know, mm-hmm. why is his number 23? Because of Michael Jordan. He influenced the way he played. Why did he change it from 23? To six, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Why he changed it, yeah. <laughs> but that's a whole nother influence. Mm-hmm. But, <laughs> mm-hmm. but, you know, talking about, like, you know, with those things, like, you influence something positive mm-hmm. to happen. And I think, like, we just, we look at influence now. We just look at, oh, my followers are going up. We're like, oh, I'm getting this. I'm getting I'm an that. influencer. I'm an influencer. No, we can't measure influence based off of that. No. Like, because influence goes deep. Like, you don't have to have a microphone in your, in your hand mm-hmm. preaching on the stage or communicating in whatever respect to have an influence. You can have influence if you're just having a one-on-one conversation with somebody in a coffee shop. Yeah. And they're able to pour out all the stuff that they're dealing with and you pray over them and you talk to them and you minister to them and you walk with them. You can point them back to Jesus. Point them back to Jesus. That's influence. In the midst of their struggle. That's yeah. influence. I feel like the dangerous part that we tend to neglect is not we, but just like we don't hear it talked about enough where it's like we are influencing people whether we like it or not. Mm-hmm. If you are a parent, you are influencing another human being. I believe that's just a general rule of thumb. Yeah. Like, if you are alive, you have the ability Mm -hmm. and probably the potential and capacity to influence another human being. Yeah. And what that means is you will affect how they think, how they act, Mm -hmm. how they talk. Mm -hmm. You affect all those things. Mm -hmm. Whether you believe it or not, like it or not, know it or not, feel it or not. You have a, and you are an influencer. Yeah. Stop trying to be an influencer and influence people well. Yeah. Like that's the difference. Yeah. Everyone's trying to be an influencer. Stop trying to be an influencer and focus on what are you influencing people in. Yeah. Paul says it to Timothy. He says, guard your life and your doctrine. Mm. He says, by doing so, you will preserve yourself. Yeah. And people who are following you or yeah. hearing you yeah, said, watch your life, watch 
watch your mouth. Yeah. Because you're going to be accountable for that Mm -hmm. for yourself, but also for the people who hear you. I think that's my biggest thing that, you know, I think God's working on me in. But it goes back to, I'm not trying to pick on Tim Ross. It's just the the thing that feels different where I'm just like, do I have similar thoughts sometimes mm. as what we've seen go viral? Yeah. Yes. Do things come to mind that I could just say and maybe it paints a picture, makes a point, makes you laugh? Whatever. I don't know what the end goal is, right? Yeah. I'm just being real. I'm just being real. I'm just saying what it is. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. But what I like more is knowing that I didn't potentially mess somebody up. Mm. Just because I mm. said what I wanted to say. I got this off my chest. Mm-hmm. But I said it with no concern to who hears it and how they're affected by it and how that influences them. That's good. Especially a seasoned believer mm-hmm. who is ministering to a potential audience of new believers yeah. or non-believers. Yeah. Who have no wisdom, little will, wisdom, no discernment, or little discernment. Mm-hmm. And you just saying things. Yeah. And so, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, I'm not saying it's easy. I mean, people probably could chop through this episode and be like, well, you said that and that made yeah. you stumble. That, that. My bad. Mm-hmm. I wasn't trying to. Yeah. Not blatantly. Yeah. I mean, I know there's the other side of this coin where you can find offense and fault with anything if you look for it. Yeah. Except in Jesus Christ alone. Yeah. So that's why the best influence you can have is pointing someone to, to Jesus. Christ, yeah. Because he's not going to, he's the, he's going to offend you. You know, he's the he's the cornerstone yeah. that caused everyone to stumble. Yeah. But he's the one who actually can hold the weight of everything we bring to him. Yeah. And everything we're dealing with. And he never ever steers us wrong or causes us to go in the wrong direction. Like I think we are influencers. I think we're influencers, all humans. I think we suck mm. at being good influences. So here are those two parts. We are naturally influencers. We are not good Mm -hmm. (laughs) at being good influences. Our best hope is to saturate every part of our influence in the goodness and word, presence, spirit, everything of Jesus Christ. Like, I don't think I can actually influence you in a way that actually matters mm-hmm. unless I do that. I can influence you. I hate broccoli. Well, now I hate broccoli. Yeah. Oh, you know, that's, have you heard this fact about broccoli? Well, now I'm not going to eat broccoli anymore. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I feel like we could influence people so many different ways, but it's only going to matter. We influence people to know God, to follow him with their whole heart, And to trust him, like the gospel, give them the gospel, because that's the only influence that will last at the end of time.